What's going on, family? This is Dr. Jake Taylor J. Because I just took a sip of communion. It was actually extremely amazing. Let me tell you what was in my communion. Mm-hmm. I had a little bit of Jameson. Uh, okay, okay. A splash of Red Bull. Just a little splash. Orange juice. A little OJ. And Sprite. Ooh, that's a little sparkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a little what they call concoction. That was a concoction. <laughs> yeah. Now, now they said on the last show that I was that I was drinking, which is why I was down. No, I really was on Dayquil in it's medicine. It's okay. Um, but what I will tell y'all on this show is today we're going to talk about how to win in the sh- shitty market. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's important for us to tell y'all right now, um, our company is down this year. Um, I, I feel like I've always told you all the truth. I feel like um, whether I'm on IG, I'm talking to IG, or I'm talking to YouTube or Facebook, one of the biggest things that kept us really authentic with our folk, with our supporters on social media or our cousins, like we like to call it, mm-hmm. is the fact that we keep a buck a buck. When we up, right. we up, and when we down, we down. And the reason why I like to talk about when we up and when we down is to let people know in business that everything isn't always rainbows and sunshine. So, um, Iggy, what, what you got to say about, you know, what, what's going on? Man, it's the, the, the marketplace right now is completely, like, crazy for everybody. You know, talking to, you know, some of the people that I came up in, in business with, uh, talking to talk to them about their business, where they are in business, what they're dealing with in the marketplace, and they dealing with the same stuff we dealing with: sales down, uh, you know, dealing with with other stuff with, with business with you know it with the botch deals, botch partnerships, right? Dealing with the aftermath of of the pandemic, and what 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 a lot of people don't understand. We were talking about it earlier, is that a lot of what we were ex- were expected to experience or looking to experience during the pandemic, as far as the economic like down, downturn, yeah. is what we're experiencing right now in the marketplace because they pumped so much money into the market during that time yeah. that it kind of artificially inflated the economy. Now, since they they dial back on that, we the the, the stimulus the stimulus checks not coming out here. They not the 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 support for for funding is not out here like it was. There's still a couple programs, but it's not out here like it was. So now the people, the the, the marketplace is actually feeling that. Y'all probably can recognize a, a lot of people that came up during the pandemic. A lot of people came up online. A lot of people business blew up online. A lot of people were making money they never had made before. Touch uh, milestones, reach milestones they never reached before. We're seeing that if you really weren't about business, if you really weren't didn't understand how to navigate through the market, if you really didn't uh, you weren't in a position to really build, if it was just kind of like you hit at the right time, now we're kind of seeing those highlights kind of fizzle down and the people who who are really built to be able to navigate this space, right? They dealing with it, but we, those are the people that I still see kind of moving forward. And so we're going to talk about that today as far as how to move in a shitty market. Like what are some of the things you should be focused on as a business owner, as an entrepreneur in a shitty market? What are, what are the things you should be focused on when it comes to building and or starting a business in a shitty market? So we're going to talk about this to help people understand. And, and, I, and for those of you who got soft ears, I don't, I don't mean to, uh, to, 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 to tarnish that with, you know, with uh, talking about a shitty market, but just being frank, that's exactly what it is right now. And, I, and I'm going to just be honest with y'all, um, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or IG. Um, the only thing that we can be is real. Um, and when you real, can't nobody call you out. Right. On no BS. Uh, and the truth is, a lot of your favorite gurus, especially us, mm-hmm. we down this year. Yeah. And um, I really feel sorry for the for the people that taught you that your only business that you needed was selling courses because courses are taking a bruising yeah. this year. And um, if it wasn't for the businesses that we bought, mm-hmm. we would be in a much more grueling situation or grueling space. So let, let, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So... In in this space that we're in right now in the market, yeah. and based on your professional opinion, what is it that you say that businesses should be focused on, or business owners should be focused on right now because the market is how it is? This this is clearly the worst time to be trying to start a business from scratch, but a lot of people, that may be all that they know. So what would you say business owners or entrepreneurs or people trying to, to maneuver in this space what should be like one of their, their premier focuses? Yeah, the, the biggest thing that I think that most people should focus on is understanding the cadence of the market. Mm-hmm. 
Um, the cadence of the market simply means that you have to understand and study when is the best time to launch a company when mm -hmm. it is not. Mm -hmm. The best time to launch a company from scratch, not buying a business, we're talking about you can launch a company from scratch, is when there is a bunch of cash being surplused in the market, which means spending is high, interest rates are low, inflation is at its lowest or at a normal rate. But when things are tight, cash is tightened, um, inflation is high, interest rates are high, it's not the smartest time to actually launch a business. This is actually time. During this time, there are two focuses that people need to make. The first purchase is you either need to buy a company that already exists, and we teach that how to buy a business with little to no money I was just down. Say. Yeah. Um, or two, you need to just keep working your job and study in this period because there's only two ways that you can win in this market. It's either you buy a business that already exists so that you can be able to uh, benefit off the cash flow of that business, especially services, business models, and service, uh, uh, companies that are need-based no matter what the industry or market is doing. Um, or two, you need to stay on your job and wait till the market gets a little bit easier before you dibble and dabble in the game. And the truth is, Iggy, a lot of people are not going to tell the truth. Yeah. Um, and a lot of my peers, people that I love, that I talk to on a regular basis, everybody's sales are down. Like, and so everybody's firing, everybody's cutting costs, everybody's. <laughs> listen, let me tell y'all, let me big tell y'all, let me tell y'all 10 of the big businesses that have closed down as of late. JC Penney's, Neiman Marcus, Hertz, Pier One, Model Sporting Goods, GNC Holdings, GNC Holdings. That means all of the business in GNC. Mm -hmm. uh, Stein Mart, Century 21 Stores, Lucky Brand, Lord & Taylor, Burger King. 500 stores. Just shut down 500 stores in the United States of America. That's more than 25,000 employees that won't have a job. And, and that one that one is a, is a big deal for me to hear because... I, I can send a Burger, Burger King. A kind huge of, competitor to McDonald's. Huge competitor, but also like one of like the cornerstone fast food businesses in America. Like Burger yeah, King is that no. burger restaurant. Bur what's sustaining Burger King is business outside of America. Yes. The new markets that they yes. tapped into, those are the industries that they're winning right now. Star Subway shut down a bunch of locations. Starbucks. Shut down a bunch of locations. Macy's shut down a bunch of locations. JC Penney's shut down a bunch of locations. Gap. Shut down a bunch of locations. Victoria's Secret. Shut down a bunch of locations. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond is shut down for good. Forever Twenty One. Shut down a bunch of locations. Yes. H and M. Shut yes. down a bunch of locations. Yes. GameStop. Shut down damn near all of their locations. So if those big businesses are shutting down, and these gurus are telling you that they up right now, they're lying, dog. Like the the these gurus uh, that came into the market, especially in off course sales. These are the ones that are, are struggling to tell the truth because they're still trying to get those dollars in from the course sales, right? And so they're telling you certain things to continue helping you spend money. Meanwhile, they're down in their they business, they're struggling, and they have you spending your hard earned money to kind of help them in, in get in the space, but they're not really teaching you, you nothing, being transparent and honest with you that I'm once you access it, you actually have to know how to move this market. And let's keep it a buck. Yeah, yeah, keep it a buck. Most of these entrepreneurs, most of these business owners, this is their first time dealing with a market like this. This is their first time dealing with chaos in the market. They I mean, they hit big, and, and and so now now the only thing that, that a lot of them can do is just go back to what made them the money, regardless of what the market. But is but doing. but this is what you gotta understand, bro. Like I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. This is my first major market. Like like this is this is. What people not going to really like lay down on you. If you did not save your, like, like a lot of the people that most people look up to, they're surviving on their surplus cash that they had mm -hmm. and the investments that they made. For an example, our primary business cash flow and business is our consulting company. Mm -hmm. Our consulting company is damn near done now down to zero. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I know, I know y'all not used to a lot of people telling you the truth, mm -hmm. but our consulting and education company is down real bad. It's down bad. That's real. And uh, a lot of y'all fail to realize, like, we understood where the market was. 
which is why we dropped all of our courses and programs. We went to the dollar program yeah, we'll to talk 11 about a that. year. We'll talk about that. And the reason why we did that is because we already kind of saw what the market is doing. So right now, what the market is doing to business owners is what actually should have happened during the pandemic. Right. So we're dealing with post-pandemic effort. Yeah. Technically, during this phase right now, we're supposed to be coming back from the pandemic eating us up. Mm -hmm. But because the but because uh, the government wanted to uh, pop up the market. Yeah, twenty two Zeno said, "But I respect the honesty." Now, listen, let me tell you something. One thing people gonna understand about uh, about Bizco and our company is just as I like to celebrate when I'm up. I like to celebrate when I'm down to let y'all know exactly how we still operating and moving. Right, this, this business because stuff listen, easy. let me let me tell y'all. Let me let, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get back to my point. And Iggy, we can go back and forth. Let's do it. My grandfather told me one thing. He said, "Son, if you ever were to go to prison," and I said, "Papa, first of all, I won't be in prison." He said, "Son, I never thought I would be either, <laughs> but I did spend a stint." He said, "Never get into it with somebody." Who's a lifer? If you had to defend yourself, try to defend yourself against somebody in that group that has a expiration date. I said, Papa, what you mean expiration date? Papa said, he said, listen, you always stand up against somebody that has a day that they know that they're getting out. Mm hmm. Even if it's 20 years out, they know that they have a date that they're working toward. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to fight in prison or stand up to yourself in prison against a lifer, if they kill you, it doesn't matter. There's still life to death in prison. Mm -hmm. And I said, Papa, what, 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 what? I, I, I thought we was talking about business. He said, son, we are. He said, what I mean by that is this. When you're in business... Be the lifer. Don't be the person looking for an exit or a destination. At the time, I didn't really understand. So I said, Papa, what you mean? He said, in business, son, you're going to have people that, that's just in business for the car, for the house, for the vacation, for the lifestyle, for the stunting, mm -hmm. for the kudos, mm -hmm. for whatever. They're mm -hmm. only in business for whatever that thing is. When they get that thing, they don't want to do it no more. They have no more fight in them. Right. He said, those people are the easiest to beat. The hardest people to beat in business are the people that whether they up or they down, they still in the game. Mm -hmm. They still doing the thing. Those are lifers. Become a lifer. So don't get too up. Don't get too down. And if you go, he said, if you're going to brag about your ups, also brag about your downs. You got to, and that's bro. exactly why I'm telling y'all right now. Blood is in the streets right now. Listen, uh, first of all, shout out to all the other business owners right out there right now who are fighting their way through this, right? Because, like I said, in, in full transparency, we're getting our butt kicked, right? And this is being in, at the top of of our industry and what it is that we do. This is having. Uh, made you know business decisions where, and uh, getting assets assets that were able to help sustain no, no, us. No, 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 no. Tell the truth. I'm telling. No, oh, let no, me, let me get there. The, no, let me tell get the there. Full truth. Let me get there. Let me get there, bro. Let me get there. <laughs> so, on, uh, like, I, I really want to commend y'all because th this is this is not this is not to this is not a show that we just finna you know talk shit and throw stones, right? I, I want to commend y'all because it's hard out here. It's hard out here. But also, I want to make sure that the consumers understand that. Everybody dealing with it right now. The, the, the <laughs> your, your guru that you watching on on, on YouTube, you watching their reels, the you love going to the, that, that you billionaire love. that you love. All of this, everybody is going through because this is the state of the market of the industry of economics right now. So if last year you was making sales and this year you're struggling at sales, it's not just you. It's not just you. It's the market. So I don't. We don't want you. The biggest reason we're being honest right now. Bring some it's because we want to bring solace to you. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to be honest. And mm -hmm. Iggy know this. Mm -hmm. I had to call my friends that I consider peers that on a, on, on, a, on a yearly basis, we all collectively do high seven figures to mid eight figures a year. And I'm like, damn, Jake, are you losing it? Damn, Iggy. <laughs> Are you losing it with the marketing? Right. 
And when I call my peers and they like, nah, Jake, shit, uh, it's hard for us too. Man, that listen. brought me confidence to say, you know what? It's not me. It's the market. So how we navigating is actually the correct way. Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep it Sorry a book. For no, no, you good. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a book. And, and, and when it when it comes to like what it is, my what did I do? My contribution to to the company. My contribution to the business. I generally started looking at myself as inadequate. I generally started looking at myself like, bro, like, what is it that you 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 say that you got it, but during this time, even like, you, what is going on? But having these conversations and, and understanding that this is what's going on in the market, it brought a, a, a little bit of peace to me, and it also let me know, okay, this is where we are right now. What is it that you're going to do to be able to move forward? And and Jack, we we become masters of pivoting, bro. We didn't pivot it 17 times. times to be able to move in this market. Thankfully, bro, thankfully, the, the technologies and the assets that we acquired and, we'll get and, we'll get and, to, yeah. and allowed us to be able to move. And the, the point of, of this is to make sure that people understand, one, you're not by yourself. Like, the, this is what's going on in the market. Two, when you accept the reality of what's going on in the market, then you can make solid decisions to be able to move forward. Ooh, but as long as, you, the Ooh, as, long, as long as you're in a that's space of, of believing things uh, uh, that's, of, good. That's, that's not reality, you can't make the proper decision to move forward. First, you got to accept Accept what it is. This is where we are. The market is effed up right now. The market is shitty right now. Everybody's sales are down. Businesses are closing. These we're talking about Fortune 500 companies. We're talking about billion dollar billion dollar companies that have closed their doors. Tens of thousands of people out of employment. Not to mention, at the same time, it's the AI wave. So even more people are going to be put out of business. Even yeah. more, even more uh, individuals are going to lose their jobs okay. based on the the amount of revenue that businesses are not bringing anymore, and the amount that, that uh, of 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 human resources that they no longer need because of the implementation of technology, specifically AI. So this is to help you understand. This is the reality of where we are right now in 2023. You have to accept where we are right now in 2023 if you want to make it out of this on, on, on the upside. Let, 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 let me say this. And I want to be clear. I want to be honest. I'm about to show I'm about to show y'all numbers. Like mm -hmm. these are our real numbers this year. This is our bookkeeping and automation software. This is our real numbers this year. 353,000 this year. I'm going to show y'all uh y'all can't really see on YouTube and stuff. I really hate that y'all can't see it. But on IG, they did see it. It's $353,000 of revenue that we were able to make this year. Um, uh, expenses, $328,000. Now, to a lot of people, that's y'all's dream. <laughs> y'all like, damn, if I can make $350,000 uh, shit by, by, by May 1st, nah, talk about it. I'm up. Talk about it. But I'm going to just tell y'all, it take us, it take $85,000 a month just to run this business. We under 13000 a month right now. This month alone, we under 30000 Like, like, like people on the internet. Cap boy, I, boy, I get, boy, I get so goddamn tired of these motherfuckers on the internet. Excuse me for cussing. But I get so tired of people goddamn hot siding and stunting. Thank you. And, and we one of the best to do it. I, I listen, listen. But I team up against my, anybody. Mo, 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 most of y'all gurus can't stand ten feet with us. And if we, are, I'm te like I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, <laughs> it is tough in this market right now. But I'm also telling you that it's okay. It's as okay. long as you can be able to survive in this market, it's okay. As long as you can pivot and keep your mind on a, on a swivel. It's okay. As long as you can process your mind that you're not the only one struggling right now. It's okay. It's okay. My entire staff took a pay... Listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. It's okay. Let me, let me try to show you two a little closer. I can't. I can't show y'all a little closer. Hold on. Maybe if I make it dark. Maybe, maybe if I make it a little darker. Hold, hold on, IG. Trying to make it a little darker for him. Okay, here we go. Let's make it a little bit more darker. Oh, you can't see that at all. You ain't either. Hold on. You too can't see that. 
Yeah, come get it. Come get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want YouTube to get it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, IG. I already showed yeah, y'all. Yeah, we, right? we, we, we need y'all to see this. We, we need y'all to understand to transparency. We need y'all to see know, where it is uh, we uh, at. Because yeah, uh, ain't no need yeah, of y'all looking up to us if y'all yeah. don't understand yeah. where we at. We we not oh. here to, oh, to oh, lie oh, to y'all. Yeah, we not here to continue yeah, to, to BS. $353,000 this year. $353,000 a year. Okay, thank you. Now now make me back clear. Make me back clear, oh Lord. Yeah, give me, give me, give me some ones yep, in, in the go. chat on IG and and YouTube <laughs> if y'all saw that and y'all appreciate the transparency. IG, give me IG, some ones. Did y'all see that? Give me some ones if you saw that and y'all appreciate the transparency. Give IG, me some ones. IG, did y'all see that? And if y'all did see that, let me see some ones for for opening up transparency. Yeah. If, if y'all saw that, let me let me let me let me be clear. Yes. Okay, y'all saw that. Press number one if y'all saw that and y'all appreciate the honesty. Goldie, I appreciate you. Yeah. Drink more water. I appreciate you. Yeah. Creative consciousness. I appreciate you. Yeah. This is this is what's going on out here in the marketplace, y'all. Yeah. This is what everybody is dealing with. Yeah. You've seen a lot of people, including us. You've seen a lot of people go back live. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen a lot of people get so, back out here in the marketplace. You so, go- so there's a lot going on in the marketplace. Like I said. The money that we make as a company is a lot of people's dream. But I don't put my my our percentage of struggle over somebody only doing 100,000 a year. Because the percentage of struggle is the same. No matter if we do t- Listen y'all, no matter if we do 10 million a year. Listen. Or if we do only $50,000 a year. Listen. If you're if you're down 40%, you're down 40% no matter what you're revenueing. Right. And so this is what I want to tell you. The only thing that has sustained us is what we teach in this book. Buy, build, sell, repeat. The only thing that has kept this company's lights on Fair. is the fact that we bought companies at little to no money. Facts. And those need based businesses are what's sustaining this company during a downtime. So when we teach y'all to buy companies mm-hmm. that already exist, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's not because it's a commodity. Mm-hmm. It's because it's a necessity. Let's talk about it. So so when 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 we talk about buying these companies bro yeah. I, I i know be, especially uh, wrapped around a conversation i know that there's there's people listening live right now right, to watch. let me just say this real quick okay go ahead when the last time your favorite guru showed you they p and l okay huh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on for, for the people who don't know hold on that's a profit and yeah. loss statement when is the last time your favorite guru Showed you they profit and loss statement. Huh? Even during se- what they say, such a time as this. Huh? Ain't that what they say, Iggy? When has your favorite guru shown you their P&L statement during even a time such as this? Y'all, even with our tech companies, we had to cut our price points down 60%. 60% in order to keep our customer base. So the numbers that we showed you, y'all, these are our P&Ls. This is our profit and loss statement. This is what we're dealing with on a daily basis. <laughs> Right? And if at any point you don't give give us respect. That's cool. You got to give us respect when we down because we still talking. Listen. No, no. Think about it. People online that sell courses, they showing you, they showing you snapshots of them making 40, 50,000 in a month in 2021. Bro, I'm, when I see, I'm seeing, right, ahead, I'm seeing ads. I'm seeing ads. <laughs> On all over the internet 
<laughs> and people showing screenshots and they showing like screen recordings of March 2020, <laughs> of, of September 2020. Well, well I, I get it. I get it. That's everything that the economy like was infused with capital at that point. Like it new people that had never and made they money. Leave the house. They couldn't leave the house. They were had to be locked into this. Now people are in the marketplace to being challenged. And listen, last year, 2022, with the N22, Doc Jake was just talking about it. We dropped our prices, right? 250, 30 plus hours at the time. It's over 270 now, but at the time, 230 plus hours, we charged a dollar a month. We had a back and forth about it for a couple of months about online, it. Online. Online about yeah. it, right? And it was it was one of those things like, look, if we're going to beef about it, then we're going to talk about it. We want to see the people, with, like, see the people so they can say. see. But that was a that was a that us showing you like everything that, that, that goes on in business is not necessarily going to be an agreement. But what, what the, the biggest thing for us dropping the price is because, one, we anticipated That's right. what was going on or what, what would happen in the market. Now, keep it a buck. We, we didn't think that it was going to be like this. However, we knew that we had to drop our prices. Dr. Jake said 60%, meaning that our current customer base at the time, we lost 60% of revenue. However, we increased our customer base. Why is this important? Why is it important when we talk about maneuvering through a shitty market, when we're talking about sustaining a company? Because when, when, you are, when you are looking to sustain, your customer base matters. Not necessarily the revenue you're bringing in, because if you're bringing in $10,000 a month in revenue from two clients, two customers, right? One of those customer leads, that could be up to 50% of that revenue. But if you got that $10,000 spread out over a few hundred people, one of those people leave, you have a, a better chance of sustaining your company and building. Because what we understood is that if we take a 40 percent, right, which is sixty percent less of what we were, that's still better than nothing. And we can still pour into our customer base. We can still offer them things as well as when we talk about buy, build, sell, and repeat. Your customer base is an asset to your business. It's a database. And so when you're looking to exit this business, we're going to talk about this a little bit more. For those of you who have the book, right, buy, build, sell, repeat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who have been through our five-day live training class, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your customer base is an asset. And if you don't have have a, a, a broad customer base, a diverse customer base, it's going to be hard for you to sustain in times like this. Hey. I know you're going through it right now. Yeah. I know you're trying to figure it out right yeah. now. I know your sales are down right now. Yeah. I know you're trying to figure it out if you should start a new business right now. Yeah. I know what it is you're going through because I've been through it. What I'm telling you is that you have to understand that this market, these these times right now, if you can, if you can pivot, build, sustain, and grow through times like this, because when we when we talk about trends, right? When we talk about physics, what goes up must come down, right? What goes down must what go up. Goes around, so we're talking about around. that this is the natural trend of the market, the ups and downs. In these valley periods in the marketplace, these are the times where you cultivate. These are the times where you pivot. These are the time, times where you re-solidify yourself in what it is. These are the times where you have to make cuts. I was watching an interview, Doc, with, uh, with uh, Elon Musk, bro. And he was talking about... Uh, they they were grilling him on how when he came on board when he we, when he acquired Twitter, he came on board of Twitter how he immediately just started making cuts. His thing was yo bro I got when I looked at the financials, we had about a billion dollars in the bank when it came to Twitter's when it came to Twitter's expenses that's four months to live. So he was like, if you got four months to live, what are you gonna do in that time period? Are you gonna wait like <laughs> my 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 uh, my my uncle say you gonna pussyfoot around? You just gonna be like acting. Are you gonna make decisions that may hurt some people, but it's gonna it's it's gonna Listen, protect the longevity of your business. Let, let me, this is where we are right now in the market. Let, let, let me let me just say this because we're about to get to the solution. But the biggest reason that we're talking to you right now about what's going on in the market is because most people aren't going to tell you the truth right now. Um, most of the gurus that you know, including us. Have never have never navigated a time such as this. <laughs> let me let me be clear. If your favorite people that you follow in business have not acknowledged the fact 
that they have taken some type of loss in the market right now, they are not the people you should be following because those are the people that were probably gaslighting when they was up in a damn show gaslighting when they down. I'm telling y'all this right now. Right. Our business revenue is down 70% this year. 70. In order to run our company, we need 80,000 a month plus. That's just, yeah, to break even. This month and last month, well, last month we were down 30,000. Thousand dollars. Shit didn't get paid. Keep it a buck. I mean, keep it a buck. I don't know if y'all want anybody to tell you the truth, but I, I don't know what else to do but to tell the truth, whether I'm up or I'm down. Our, 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 our assets, our technology companies, our, the, the, the companies that we purchased through acquisition mm -hmm. are what are sustaining us. But even those companies are down in revenue because we had to cut costs 60% okay. just to keep our customers on the platform because it was too much because the cost of living has increased. Their revenue has decreased. Or the revenue hasn't changed because they work a job running their side business on the side. By, by a show of ones in the comment section, how many how many of y'all have dealt with an increase in your grocery costs, increasing your energy costs? Oh, listen, listen, your no, costs? listen, no, oh, slow down, slow well, down, I, Iggy. Let's let's get them some time to tell the truth. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. How many of y'all have dealt with an increase in your grocery bill? Increasing your fuel, increasing your energy, dealing with that. Press in the one. Press one in the chat if you are dealing with that currently. Because this this is not, I already know y'all dealing with it. But I, I, I want y'all to comment the one so that other people watching can see that in the chat so that they can know let, that we're telling the truth. Can I say this? Yes, sir, Doc. If we telling y'all the truth, y'all got, if y'all going to be watching us, God damn it, live, y'all got yeah. to tell the truth, too. Thank you, Creative. Thank you, Michelle. I'm looking on YouTube. Right. If y'all, if, if we gonna tell the truth, y'all got to goddamn tell the truth. Cause we 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 gonna tell the Listen, truth. Listen, so well, I, I I remember I remember probably the middle, maybe this time a little bit later, summertime last year, when the things started increasing, the prices, and we and because of where we were, it people were 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 seeing the increase of of. Heads of cabbage, increase in eggs, just basic stuff that you would go to the grocery store to do to feed your family. A lot of the things where, where people were cutting costs and they were buying beans and rice and things that they can make multiple meals out of, increase that price, bro. I, 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 live, I live by myself, bro. By myself. The hand being going to the grocery store and you get the hand basket to shop with. I don't even get the push buggy. I just want I just right? I just I just want to give a shout out to those who are bold enough to watch the show live and tell the truth. Like I'm, I'm sorry, Iggy, for disrupting you. I was I, in the flow, bro. I, I know I'm I apologize. I'm sorry. But I do have I have to, I do have to give a shout out to those that are willing to tell the truth on live because in this society, Iggy, fourteen dollars a dozen for eggs, bro. Bro. I don't know what market you're doing. You probably Creative content on YouTube, bro. $14 a dozen for eggs, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Lorenzo said, brothers, everybody's cost has... Oh, so watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to shut up, Iggy. I promise. Watch this. If the cost of living has increased, but as an entrepreneur, your sales have decreased, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what the... You're not in a better position than an employee that works a job. And let me tell y'all something. Let me. Can I tell them something, Iggy? Please, Doc. Most as, as long of, as you don't keep it a buck with them. I'm going I'm to tell the truth. Yeah, okay. You good. You good. You good. Most of your favorite gurus driving Rolls Royces and shit that's not telling you the truth living on credit right now. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no. You absolutely should because we I being real. It. We being real. We being oh, real, Doc. No, after they need somebody got to got their head is. All right, so they're showing no decrease in lifestyle. But their number one business is down 
in sales. Mm -hmm. They're living their life during this period on credit and selling you on their program, expecting you to buy their program as if they still up. That's crazy. But none of your favorite gurus. I, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I said in 2023, I was going to grow up and I wasn't going to yell no more. Because you was yelling. All right. So let me let me come back down. Like a, I'm a grown man. Now I'm about to be 32. I'm grown. <laughs> Uh, All right. Let me let me slow down. Yeah. None of your favorite gurus have showed you sales this year. Think about it. Let's think about it. 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 Everybody was showing screenshots. Everybody was showing screenshots in 2021. They were showing screenshots in 2020. They were showing a little bit of screenshots in the beginning of 2022. But notice, they cut out the date when they do sales this year. <laughs> Listen. You, you, you see sales that say July. Nigga, it. I'm sorry for saying Wait a nigga. minute. Sorry, y'all. I, I got a little bit too excited. <laughs> I'm still black in case y'all watch me and y'all white in other demographics. <laughs> I still got pieces of me that is still from where I come from. Okay? But let me just say this. I, I, he, hey, LeBron said the N word the other day. Ain't nobody say nothing to LeBron. So oh, nobody gonna say nothing to you. That's right. Yeah. You better not say nothing to me. Yeah, I got your back, dog. Thank you. I got your back, dog. Thank you, dog. Come on, come on. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. They said be you, dog. They said be you. They showed y'all sales to date during the recession when it was up, when cash flow was down, up. Everybody was getting money. But ain't nobody showing y'all sales today. Listen. Doc. And I'm seeing screenshots of July. We in May. How y'all get there? Y'all time there? travelers? Y'all hey, AI do that? What, 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 what? Y'all know something we don't know? If we missing out, my bad. We don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. Because I'm down this year. And I showed y'all my numbers, and y'all want me to show y'all again? Nah, dog, it's okay. We'll you, wait you, to the end. Wait to the end. Listen, listen, listen. We'll wait to the end. We, we still on average doing $70,000 a month, and we still under. Bad. Yeah. Uh, Im imagine. Chad, yeah, you talking about. Imagine yourself in a position where you making the money. Making the money. You good. Your family taking care of. And you still broke. And you still broke. Listen, how do you explain that you rich and broke at the same time? I'm still working on it, Doc. I'm still okay. working on it. Let me let me let me let me speak to him a little bit because <laughs> I just I need them to understand like Well, I'm rich broke. I need to I need to understand. I'm rich, where, but I'm broke. Where we at? Today. But I also need them to understand what it is Did that we're Somebody we loan did. me a dollar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stupid. <laughs> I need them to understand what it is, where we are, and what it is we did. Imagine. You got me on a dollar. Imagine where we are right now in the marketplace. December of, uh, really, in November, December the twenty uh, of 2022, we, Dr. Jake and I made a decision. I was a little hasty, hast, hasteful about it, but <laughs> we made a decision to drop our prices. We, we've talked about it 60%. Right, dropped it, decreased it by sixty percent. Would mean we were only getting forty percent of what we were getting then. But in the marketplace, we were looking around, and I saw people increasing their prices. Hey, they dropped it though, didn't they? But listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that, Doc. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Drop the wait, 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 Doc. Wait, Doc. You ahead, Doc? You ahead? Doc. I ain't seen more thirty sevens, forty sevens. Okay, let me shut up. <laughs> Can I finish, Doc? Oh, please. I, I, let me leave. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I we it. we we dropped we dropped our prices we to did. a to a dollar, right? A month for stuff that we had already made millions of dollars with to a dollar a month, and we and we made this decision because we knew where the marketplace was and it was going. And how could how could the price of eggs be going up? How could the price of cabbage be going up? How could the price of uh, of your lettuce be going up? How could the prices of your basic necessities, the stuff that you buy at the grocery store weekly, be going up? And we increase our prices. 
Now, the same people that we saw increasing their prices, we was talking noise. We was talking, we was, we, we was bigging up. We, 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 we was challenging them. We said, look, our goal was to correct the market. Y'all can't be overcharging for y'all courses that y'all, one, y'all ain't proving the results of them yet, first of all. Second of all, people are out here struggling with everyday life. I don't want y'all to have to make a decision between buying what it is that we teaching and taking care of your kids. I don't want you to have to make the decision buying what it is that we teaching or putting gas in your car. I don't want you to have to make the decision buying what it is that we teaching or keeping your lights on, keeping your cell phone on, keeping clothes on your kids back. This is the reality of the market we living in. Y'all know, y'all know y'all don't have to shuffle bills around. Y'all know y'all had to move money from over here. Don't pay this bill to pay that bill. Y'all understand y'all get it. So what sense does it make for your favorite guru to increase their prices to teach you a course to teach you some stuff that they ain't necessarily proven yet? No, let me tell you, let me tell you what I'm sick of. Let me tell you what I'm sick of tell seeing him, right you. now, Doc. Tell them. I'm sick of seeing these gurus. I'm uh -huh. sick of seeing these videos to tell all these people what they how they can them. go get access to capital from these banks with no docs, with no proven nothing. They can get fifty thousand dollars. You ain't even got to show nothing. Well, when you get the fifty thousand dollars, what you gonna do with it? Yeah. How you gonna move it around? You gonna be you gonna have no, a fifty thousand dollar debt no, they, on no, they your say, account. They say give it to me. You we gonna get your funding for you to pay for our master class. Pay for our master class. <laughs> we gonna get you five thousand. We gonna charge you forty nine ninety seven. But we got you though. Now, now you inside the training course that don't really work. You in debt with a credit card or, or some credit, a lot of credit that you didn't necessarily need, and you still got the same bill that you had before. Boy, are you mad today? I am pissed off, Doc, because these folks be out here in, in the marketplace lying to these people, bro. Just to line they pockets, but they, but 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 but, but look, they'll do it in the what? name of they'll hey. do it. In, listen, wait, wait. They'll do it in the name of uh, a community. Black empowerment, generational wealth. I'm looking out for the people. Yeah, yeah, that that crap, that crap. Showing screenshots from 2020, Doc. Woo! We're in 2023, man. Finna be the summertime, man. <laughs> if, don't buy nothing from nobody. Showing screenshots from 2020. <laughs> they ain't done nothing since. Hey, I'm just keeping it a buck. Done tell. <coughs> I, yeah, Tracy. I'm, you know I'm gonna tell it, Tracy. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know I'm gonna tell it, Tracy. <coughs> hey, bro, some water right there. You probably no, I need communion. No, nah, you need some water. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> Don't tell. Water. What's wrong with him, bro? Hey, listen. What's wrong with me? Listen. Let me tell y'all something. If I'm lying, put some tools in the chat. I'll wait. Hey, listen, bro. <laughs> but let me tell y'all something. He almost <laughs> died over there for real. I almost died for real. Let me tell you, let me, I'm about to tell y'all the truth right here. I've been telling y'all the truth the whole time. <laughs> well, let me tell you some more. Here's the deal. I'm in tears. <laughs> if the person that you look up to will only tell you when they up, but will never show you the process of how they navigate when they down, <clears throat> there's probably somebody you shouldn't be following. Everybody talk about they him until they down. I'm him when they when we No, down. no, listen, listen. Let me let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Think about it. The people that we look up to, they only show us the highlights. Everything is real on IG. But they never show us the low lights. Now, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me let me, let me oh, make context to this. Low lights. I'm not talking about the low lights 10 years ago. I ain't <laughs> talking about the low lights five years ago, three years ago. I the was broke, the richest story I busted hear. and disgusted. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do. I was broke a living in the basic, basement. I was homeless. I was sleeping uh, in my car. Jobless, collegeless. I had nothing to College my name. College working at rallies. All Listen, that. I'm talking about the gurus that's going to tell you the truth today. When the last time they told you that they lost the deal and they lost money? Recently. <laughs> they have you believe they closed everything. They screenshot Cap. you. They tax Cap. they tax return. Listen, ain't none of y'all, ain't none of them ever showed you they tax return. Government issued tax returns. Ain't none of them ever ain't none of them ever really showed you what they actually put on their taxes. If you want to keep it a buck.
Did he? Mm. Went that well. So, so when I talk about business, I talk about all things of business. And in today's time, if you look at the economics of business, this is not the most opportune time to start a company from scratch. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's sustaining our business is, in fact, the tech company and the insurance agencies that we acquired over time. Doc. Our main business is getting slapped around. Doc, let me ask you no, this. No, 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 no. Hold on. This, oh, no, before you ask me a question, ask your guru to show you a screenshot of year-to-date sales today. No, 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 no. No, no, wait. <clears throat> Forget the year-to-date. Ask him to show you their recent P&L, profit and loss statement. And if they, they say they don't know how to get it, they can get Pocket Bookkeeper. They app, and, and if they don't connect, know how to get it, it'll do it for them. It's we simple. Got, we own the technology that'll do it for them. They ain't got no excuses. Pocket Bookkeeper. We don't we'll even do see it, it. For them. We don't even see it. Our technology is coded. It keeps everything sacred and secret. Same technology as the banks. If they say, I don't have that right now, say, go get PocketBookkeeper.com. Go get that and then show me that. Just show me that. And 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 because, they, because, they really, hold on, hold it's just two ninety seven lifetime right now. Hold on, hold on, because I showed y'all we did we well, I showed we did three hundred we we've done three hundred and fifty three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars this year. Three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars this year. A lot of y'all be like, man, Jake, Damn, I swear my to life God, would I wish I was you. I wish I did three hundred fifty three thousand before May, and I, I understand. Get I get it until you understand that in order for us to break even, we need eighty thousand a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, they, we're just being real, y'all. You know what? You know what? I'm just being real, y'all. I think maybe we just being too real today. No, no. Some this, I I feel it. No, no, let me just let's it's ask one, the people. It's, it's one. Person. No, no, no. Let, let no, no. Let's ask the people. It's one person. No, I know let's ask them. the people. We gonna ask them, but I'm telling you, it's okay. one person right now that this is sizzling on. They like, you know what? I did. They've been talking about this, and I, who was that one person? That this is one guru? person watching right now. It's one person watching right now that that I'm seeing a guru talking that mess. Then they identifying in their mind right now. You know what? These folks been out here lying to us. Listen, I'm just gonna say this: if the person that you following is only showing you glory during the time as such as this, you probably shouldn't follow them no more. Hey, and then and then on, and then on top of that, and then on top of that, like. We we sitting here ten toes down, telling you what it is in real life. Y'all, we getting our ass whooped this in year. In real life, and, and, and today, so they call it IRL in real life. But at the same time, Doc, <laughs> those folks that was that, that, that come through our live training, they still get the game as if if we was up. They'll co the the folks that get on our technology, they still get the well, game well, as if well, we was well, up. Well, let me okay, go. Okay, okay. so he set me up. Let me shut up. They still get the game. So even <laughs> you even have to do, you have to do I had to, twice. Doc. I you had to do doc. this two times. I had to. I doc, got the idea. The no, first time. I had to make sure because you didn't. I shut up. You I was setting you up. You didn't. You still. Why you point at me? That because you still. You got the y'all here. Mississippi fingers. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Listen, Big I'll country. Shut up, but you ain't finna just bully me. Big country. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna shut up. I'm not trying to you, bully you, bro. All right, so don't put. Keep I'm gonna be like on a. Keep your fingers there. Go ahead, See, little there bro. You go. Look, go ahead, little bro. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> you see, I took I took notes yesterday of that that the interview of the twin, but look. We in a space right now. We we we're moving. Don't ever do me like that in public, bro. I never will again, bro. Just did. Even though you bro, called me a scammer, finger. you called me a scammer on live, so I had to get you back. I said you were sounding like a scammer. Same thing. You didn't you didn't uh, clarify anything after that. You're you not just, a scammer. You just laughed about it, so I had to get you back. <laughs> not Mississippi fingers, Melissa. Don't do that. Thank don't you. do that, Thank Melissa. You. Don't do that. You're supposed to be on my side, Melissa. Well, y'all, y'all. I'm finna go in the back in the system to remove you from everything, Melissa. Don't do that. <laughs> this is the thing, though. Y'all know the Mississippi fingers be hardworking, thick, thick this ass. This is the thing. Fingers. You know, we we done been through we done been through this, that, and the other to make it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, his what hands mean? don't match his body. <laughs> Yo, go go back down. <laughs> y'all, his hands are like like Moses. 
<laughs> like I just don't understand how these hands say, "Don't take my kindness for weakness." I got calluses of bruised just, just knuckles. Finish, just finish. Just finish. I was trying to, but come back to me. Come back to, come back to me. He acting don't do real it, hoodish. Don't do it, Shan, Shan, thank you. Shan, thank you, Shan. Shan, thank you. Shan, Shan, what, Shan, what you gonna do? Bully yeah, her? Yeah. Chandler. Yeah. yeah. Shan, yeah. Shan, Shan, there you go. Shan, Shan, hey, she gonna there you go. Chandler. There you go. Cut it out. Okay. Come back to me. Listen, this is what I'm saying. What's up, Riddler? All right, so are you together? As long as you allow me to be. All right, go ahead. I'm setting up. In the in this market that we in right now. With the transparency that it is that we're giving, like like I said, even though we're explaining to, we're sharing with you where we are in real life when it comes to business, that don't change our ability, that don't change our passion to be able to make sure that we give you top-notch quality information to help you in this situation. So those of you who have been through, those of you in the private banking society, those of you been through any of our live training ever, Understand that we teach from a, from a point, we teach from a place of experience. So now you're getting the real time, and we, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're, we're about to transition into the solution, right? But we wanna make sure, one, y'all, y'all understood that there is a problem out here. I don't want y'all to be led astray by the, the, the great market, because a lot of these people are, 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 are good marketers, They're right? not good businessmen, they're great marketers. They, Great marketers, not good businessmen. They can they can market something, make it look this, that, and the other. But when you get inside, it's different. On the other hand, with us, you get the same energy all the way through. The transparency, the 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 teaching from experience, the affordable price to be able to help you move. Because again, I'm I'm not trying to have you trying to make a decision between your gas tank and, and buying a course. I want to allow you to be able to do both because you need both. You need this information. And we're about to transition to buy, build, sell, repeat. Now, we got, a, we got a, our next five-day live training series coming up where... It's for a dollar. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry, y'all. We got our next five-day <laughs> live training series coming up where myself and Dr. Jake, we spend minimum three hours a day on those five days. So we're talking about 15 plus hours That's of 15. live 15. training, breaking down what's in this book. And we spend the majority of time teaching you how to buy business, buy businesses for little to no money. And Dr. Jake finna go a little bit more in depth with that because y'all, 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 y'all have seen the acquisition. Y'all have seen, uh, uh, the, the, the articles about, you know, this company person, this company for hundred this amount of millions of dollars. We were talking about earlier, LeBron looking to buy complex for uh, you know, a hundred million dollars plus. These other businesses looking to acquire. You're talking about uh uh you uh Ruth Chris and Darden Restaurants. Y'all don't know, I used to work for Darden Restaurants, Olive Garden, and now they're looking to they're they're in the process of acquiring Ruth Chris, Ruth Chris for how how many seven? Seven hundred and thirteen billion. A million. Seven hundred and thirteen million dollars. I want we the, the goal of this is to help you understand you don't need all of the money up front. There are certain processes that you can go, there are certain ways you can structure the deal. There are certain things that you can put in place to be able to acquire these businesses with little to no money down. And even if you're unable to do it on your own, we have things in place, we have systems in place, place, we have processes in place to help you through that process. So, Doc, let's yeah. talk a little bit. Let's let's transition so, to the solution. All right. So, the solution is when it comes to building a business in today's time, specifically dealing with what we're dealing with in the economy, um, nobody should actually be starting a business from scratch. We should be buying businesses. I ain't got no money, though, Doc. Um, hold on for a second. Let me get it out. Everybody talks about buying back the block. Real estate, ugly-ass homes. <laughs> 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 am you, I? Am I? You petty. Honest? You petty. I'm telling the truth. That don't make it not petty. It's the truth. It's truth in the petty. Don't form. nobody want them ugly one by one houses. We we buying back the block them ugly ass homes and don't nobody ever talk about buying the businesses. What pay for the homes? What keep the economy up? It's not those ugly, dilapidated ass houses. It's the businesses that serve the communities where them ugly, dilapidated ass houses are. I'm just telling you the truth. 
whether you want to whether you want to whether you want to accept the truth or not you don't even like going to your granny house oh okay okay yeah because some of y'all just logged off bye i don't give a daggone rat bye you can leave bye because i'm gonna be the one that's gonna tell you the truth why you don't like going to your granny house it's it too small it it need too much work. It's a lot going on, and 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 Larry, the crackhead that's been on the corner for the last thirty years, is still there. But now he got a wife and kids. Now you may say, Jake, why are you being so hard on our community? The white man has been the one that it's tore us to down. Be. The, the the Mexican man, the one who took us out of our jobs. I don't give a dag rat about that. Mm -hmm. What I do know is about the statistics of truth. Mm -hmm. The statistics of truth said that there was more than 2.2 million companies that were available for sale, and 70% of those companies were by baby boomers. The truth is the baby boomers were the first the, were the first generation that were saying that they were building businesses for the next generation only for them to find out that their kids don't want their damn business. Yet we are repeating the same cycle. People started, y'all, there were 6 million companies started just in 2022. We don't do re bro, we don't do math. My irritation is with the people that's teaching our people the wrong information because they ass don't know. That's my irritation. There were 6 million companies started last year. And the projection on the amount of companies that won't, that won't make it to this year, the end of this year, is 92%. Talk about it. That's a 41% hike. Give them the numbers. There we go. See, the guru is selling you these courses that are high ticket, making you believe it's light out here. And business ain't sweet. I remember that there was a point in time when people used to look at people who thought they were entrepreneurs like they were crazy. Now when you say you're an entrepreneur, you celebrate it. Man, talk about it, Doc. You 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 leaving your stable career to 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 to, to do entrepreneurship, to learn it from somebody that only make money selling courses, selling you the thing that they told you that they mastered that they never mastered. I just request it again. Talk about it, Doc. We, we might need to we need to change this to the Transparency Podcast or the BTS Podcast because it's all behind the scenes, everything. I got you. It's all behind the scenes, everything. This is what most people don't talk about. This is the the, the facts of business that goes on with no, everybody. No, 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 no. They're not talking about come it. Come back to me on the camera now. Iggy is right. Y'all think entrepreneurship is sweet. Because y'all see these weak-ass entrepreneurs on jets that they literally rented to do a 30-minute lap of the city. Talk about it. I know these clowns. Talk about it. Y'all think that these entrepreneurs are sweet because they rent a jet and tell you that you can buy a four or $5,000 master class and get on the jet with them. Not knowing that they didn't pay shit for the jet. Talk about it, Doc. They used your money to get on the jet and they told you that this is life. A.K.A. lifestyle marketing. That's not entrepreneurship. And, and, and I just got this update, Doc. And, and I'm, I'm going to transition. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to transition, bro. Hold on. I, I want to transition. Can I just, you vented. Can I just get my last vent out? Yes, sir, Doc. Let me get my last vent out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we're going to move on. Y'all, they, they, they telling y'all all this bull. You go to their lifestyle, you meet them, they broke. 
The reason why they got 30 credit cards is because they maxing all of them out. These people on the internet not telling you the truth. We telling you the truth. Our sales are down this year. Talk about it. Last month, we were down $30,000 from our minimum. It takes $80,000 a month to run our company. I did not have enough to pay my entire staff. That's a fact. Talk and about I'm it. the one of the best of our generation ever to do business. Talk about it. They're not going to tell you the truth. They making you think that business is sweet. Business ain't sweet. Business is ugly. You the last to get paid. You the first to get blamed. Mm. I'm just keeping it a buck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All them credit card, like they, they telling you all the banks to go through through their community. Use this code. They getting paid from that. They doing all these interviews online. They paying for that. Y'all want to know the secret to get it on every platform? Go to accesswire.com. You can pay for a goddamn bundle and get on a uh, Yahoo magazine, a uh, goddamn all the tier Forbes, one magazines. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. You can pay for that shit. Surprise. Italian Twine said, aggravated man, you know you my brother. You know I'm aggravated. I'm aggravated that people made entrepreneurship seem like some goddamn rap hustle. You think that the name of the game of entrepreneurship is just selling some goddamn course. They lying to y'all. They lying. And the same people teaching you how to just sell a course are the same people still showing you sales from mother freaking 2020. 2021. 2020. 2020. It's 2023. Let me see your sales this year. Mm hmm. <laughs> y'all didn't think y'all gonna get it real like this today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, look. No, no. Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but this, I just, I just, I'm wanna just, do a, I'm tired. I'm tired of these right niggas quick. capping, dog. I just want to do a call to action. And they, right quick, and they living on credit, still traveling, selling courses like they still winning. Like I don't know they sales. Listen, doc. Listen, some, some. Y'all, y'all, y'all been bamboozled. Just to keep it a buck. I hate to say it like that, but that's just the truth. Y'all been bamboozled. And listen, listen. We moving in this space in transparency. If you're watching this live right now, you're getting anything from it. It's touching your soul. It's giving you ideas. I hope, it's make, your, I, I hope you I hope you at your favorite guru. Please at your favorite guru. That's them, exactly tell, what I'm finna say. Tell, tell, at tell your them, favorite tell, guru. Tell them and before they speak to us, send me their PL this year. At your favorite guru. Send it to their DM right now on Instagram. Send it to because their DM. Because right our PL, I just showed y'all. I just showed y'all our PL. Send hold it on, to just, them. Hey, just in case. Hold on, hold on, Iggy. Just no, in no, case. No, no, no. Send it to him. Yeah, send, 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 it send your him. favorite guru, God damn Send it. it to him. Tag him in it. Send it to him. Because I'm going to show IG I'm gonna show IG this. Hold on. I'm about to show IG this. My PNL state this. My PNL state this. Let me go to my PNL. We got, we got technology. We own technology that computes this shit uh, uh, from scratch. My PNL state this, and I'm telling y'all that. We we uh this is May uh what they say May 6, 2023. Jake Taylor, that's me. The Bizco firm, that's my company. Let's go down. Uh 328,000 is expenses. Uh uh 353,000 is what we made so far Read this year. Read that fine print at the bottom. That that profit and loss statement say 24. We use the same technology that Plaid used which are banks. And I'm telling y'all right now I'm telling y'all my numbers and telling y'all that I couldn't pay my full staff last month. No, no, no. Let me tell you the truth. 
I couldn't pay my full staff last month. We took a major L. In order to keep the people on our technology, we have to decrease our sales, our, our, our price revenue, sixty percent, mm -hmm. just to keep the customers on our platforms. Ain't nobody gonna tell y'all the real side of business. I just had a meeting with my executive team and told them I can't pay y'all this month. Talk to him, Doc. Y'all <laughs> over here listening to these people making them goddamn it shit. Sit on that truth, Doc. Sit on that truth, Doc. Just three days ago, I had a conversation with my executive team. And I said, y'all, listen, if y'all got to leave me, I get it. Y'all got to figure out if you got to get another job, I understand. But right now, we tight, and I got to think about the health of the company. My executive team said, my executive team said, hey, Jay, we here. listen, Ten we here. Toes, my dog. He said, they said, you paid us more than well when we was up. I'm riding with you when we down. Y'all want to know why? Because I tell my executive team the truth. It's church. They said it's church, doc. Preach. Sit on that. The only thing that's sustaining our companies are the companies that we bought through acquisition. Our traditional personal personality led companies are taking, they getting jumped by, they getting their ass whooped right now by the market. YouTube, if y'all hear me, let me know. People not going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to sit, I'm gonna sit it. on my one. When I was up and I showed y'all the Rolls Royce I paid cash for, I wanted y'all to celebrate me. And I also want y'all to celebrate me in the same fashion that I'm willing to stand 10 toes down to tell y'all we getting our ass whooped. It take us 80000 at minimum a month to run this ship. Ten toes, Last Tracy. month, we were down to 60000 a month. That's not enough. Ten toes. And if y'all not willing to follow people that's going to tell you the truth. Okay. Then that's on you. We appreciate your time. Y'all go follow them thought leaders yeah, that's you, just thinking. You let them give you your thoughts. Yeah, I'm the greatest thought leader in the world. You still thinking. What jobs have you given? What provision have you provided? What technologies have you purchased? Mm -hmm. You just goddamn thinking. Just big thinking. That's all. That's all. That's all. You, 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 you're welcome, Kareem Mackey. You're welcome. I see a lot of y'all. Every, 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 I'm sorry. Let me no, you up. good. You good, Doc. You good, Doc. I had to make sure you get it off your chest because there's nothing that you said that was capped. There was nothing that you said that was false. And everything you said, everybody need to hear that because there are a lot of thought leaders. There are a lot of gurus out here that's talking that talk. They're selling the bro, shit out of stuff. Bro, I can't goddamn stuff. stand it, bro. Ain't none of them show no numbers this year. Listen, Iggy, listen. Iggy, name me one I can't, person. dog. I can't. Don't put it on me. No, you know no I can't. bro. God damn it. You know I can't. You know I can't, Hold dog. On. You know Lord. I can't. Hold on. Wait. Let's. You know I can't do it, dog. You know I can't do it, dog. I'm going to keep it classy. I'm not going to name people. Yeah, yeah, Doc. We, we ain't got to do that. We ain't got to do that, Doc. I'm not going to name nobody. Listen, listen. All come I got to say is that hold on, hold on. those same people. Take your time, Doc. No, uh, uh Take your time, Doc. Take a breather. I already know where you at. But th this, this show is important because y'all get to see the real life of where shit at when it comes to business. It ain't always sweet. There come a lot of sacrifices. Y'all wonder why all these... Billionaires and multi-millionaires be wearing the same clothes every day. <laughs> Cause they ain't liquid either. Bro, bro. They ain't look at how either. look at how many of us on live. They ain't like, like, no, Iggy. I'm, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get that done. Y'all think I wanna be on live? Okay, let me shut up, Iggy. You right. I'm gonna get that doc. But I'm gonna tell the truth while you we yelling. on live. You yelling? Oh, you right. I, yeah, I, I, said, I, I, I said I grew up. I'm, I'm finna talk to him. I was That's supposed why to I talk said regular. take your time. Uh, Cause I got to breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause yeah. I got to breathe. I just want you to breathe, doc. Okay, I just want, want you to breathe. Refill the blood. Can I go step by step for a second? Please, please, doc. All right, I got go, you. Go, I got back, you. go back to Iggy, guy. Because 
there's there is there, I appreciate y'all ones. There there are a lot of people they won't give you this game because they pride too big. They're trying to save their numbers. We in this shit for the lifetime. I can't tell y'all how many sacrifices I have made personally. I got three chi- I got three children with three dif- different women. And I have to deal with all of that and still be able to grow what it is that I'm doing in my purpose and make sure I'm transparent and giving y'all what it is y'all need. A lot of these gurus out here, they cut y'all short to make sure they good. But if I'm out here for the people, I'm out here building a business, I understand to the utmost that my customers, my clients, are what feed my family. I would take care of our business. So if I can't be real with y'all, <laughs> who I'm going to be real with? If they can't be real with you as a customer, I, I can, I, I'd be willing to bet they're having problems in their personal life with being transparent. They're having problems in their relationship being transparent. They're having problems with their business partner being transparent. The one thing that is absolutely prevalent, prevalent here. Is that we transparent. It is what it is. This is what's going on. And you can ask anybody that's on our staff, that's on our team, that's a part of our core group of what it is we're dealing with and the conversations that we've had. But even though we're dealing with that internally, even though the marketplace is whooping our ass, that does not negate the quality of what it is we deliver to y'all. That doesn't negate the quality of the experience that y'all get. We got a five day live training coming up. Where we teaching you how to buy, build and sell companies. You, just to keep it a buck. Y'all know why it's in a, in, in a book form. Y'all know why it's a physical version of this and we not just doing eBooks. Why? It makes sense from a business perspective for us to sell ebooks because it's less margin, automated process, it's a digital copy. We, but in the times that we're dealing with, with you having, with the price of everything around you going up and you having to make certain decisions, we know for a fact that you would much rather pay for something and have something delivered to you where you can hold, where you can feel as that, that's the result of that purchase than just an idea that's on the internet in digital form. Absolutely. The digital form of the ebook and the, and the audio book is great. It's the same information. But the psychology of our current marketplace, knowing that you're making decisions, trying to figure out what bill you need to pay, what bill you don't need to pay. It, like, I need this education. I want this education. I want to do better for my family right now. But the way the money situation situated, I don't have it. I can't pay $300. I can't pay $200 right now, but that information will absolutely benefit me. I go right now is market penetration from a marketing perspective. What that means is we need to be able to get into the market with and, and impact as many people as possible during this time right now, because on the other side of this downturn in the marketplace, we, we law of physics, we have to go back up. So when that time comes, you're going to remember this live. You're going to remember the game that it is we gave you. You're going to remember the transparency. And we'll be going up. And when you got the money to spend, naturally, based off the law of reciprocity, you are naturally going to feel like you have an obligation to pour into what it is we doing because we were transparent. We told y'all what was going on now and poured into y'all. That's just the facts. We sustaining. We... Imagine being able to take you the truth of where we are right now financially as a company and still be able to deliver and give you game. Who else doing that? Tag, tag another one of your favorite gurus who right now you can go and you can share some information with us. They're telling you the, the, the stuff that we're telling you right now in the marketplace. Hey. It doesn't happen. Hold on. It doesn't happen. So if we're giving you this game now, we're giving you this transparency now, 
I'm telling you, the only reason this is a physical copy so that you can have something that you when you purchase it, it's delivered to you and you feel like that, that there's a resolve to you putting money out. You put money out, you got something come back in and you can touch it. You can feel it. It, it means something to you. This is what we understand about the marketplace and being able to sustain in the marketplace of what it is we doing by giving you something physical. Yes, there's an ebook. Yes, there's an audio book. But you know for a fact right now that when you pay for something and you can touch it, you can feel it, you can look at it, you can pass it around, it means something different to you. And some of y'all are trying to figure out where to get the book right now. I'm going to tell y'all, our goal is not to just sell y'all this and be like, yeah, this is what it is. We understand that some of you, this may be the first time hearing about us or your money might be tight. We get it. If you go to buybillsellrepeat.com right now, I'm sorry, BobBillSellRepeat.com forward slash class right now. You can get access. That's it. That's up there. You can get access to the first three chapters in ebook and audio book form. And that automatically registers you for our five day live series. Because Dr. Jake and I, we talk about this. Our goal is, is to get you in an environment where we can talk to you. That's not just in this social setting where we're. You are locked in. We on a Zoom and we talking to you and we giving you that game. There's people in the, in the comments right now. They are getting ready to comment and tell you how loud the five days are. Uh -huh. They finna they finna comment right now and tell you how loud the five days are. BobBillSellRepeat.com forward slash class. One dollar gets you access to the first three chapters of the audio book and the ebook. In the third chapter, the suitability score. You really want to pay attention to that. Also, it gets you access to the five days where we break down how to buy these companies for little to no money down. Dr. Jake just came back. You cool, Doc? You, did, you took Actually, a breath? Yeah. Okay. Me, we can go back to Doc. Let me just say something. I want to apologize not for being truthful, but sometimes me being too passionate can make people think that I'm upset or that I'm angry. And I'm not upset or I'm waiting angry. for this class. I'm not upset or am I or, or nor am I angry. I'm just really disappointed. Um for some of you that don't know me, the first time that I ever really came online to teach business was uh, February 2020. How long I beg you to get online before that, Doc? Uh, Iggy, Iggy was asking me to take online serious since 2015. Hmm. So it took me five years to get online because I just didn't take people that did business online seriously. We said don't apologize, Doc. You could. I get it. Um... I didn't take them seriously because of the buffoonery that I'm witnessing today. And um, when I start seeing people talk about like black community and black pride and let's build together as a community, y'all, I really took that for real. Y'all, those communities, those uh, coalitions that y'all witnessed me join that I was a part of the people that I partner with I really thought that they for real was for the community like like for real yeah and when the money stopped trickling in I saw that they stopped serving mm -hmm. that really screwed with me and then I started seeing like y'all trying to position yourself like y'all being up when I met you and you was poor. You you were in a worse position than the people that you teaching. Like the people that you teaching to leave their job because you've been an entrepreneur, you make less than them. Work mm. more hours than them. Mm. So it really, y'all, it really screwed me up in my mind. Like, you not even really about the life that you talk about. 
and having to be quiet because legal. Y'all, it's it's I know what y'all think. Y'all think that it's cool for like a black person to out another black person and speak real and speak truth, but it's not good for the community. So I shut up. Mm -hmm. I don't say anything. Respectfully. There's a lot of things that people potentially have thoughts of about how some coalitions that I was a part of ended. Y'all don't want my opinion. It's best that we just leave it where it lies. But it broke my heart to know, like, the people that I thought was really built like that, that's not built like that. They not, they not built like that. In real life, they ain't cut from a different cloth. They just ain't cut at all. Like, they only show you when they up, but they never show you when they down. fake y'all when I was doing a merger with BWO and shit hit the fan I'm the only one that sold everything I own why how much was a loss did no doc no doc no doc no doc I can't allow you to just talk about you sold some shit you have to put it in perspective because it's it's people watching this that don't know you sold land you sold your sold, car bro, you sold bro. all that but what was the loss that we took in cash value yeah 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 so I, i'll tell you we as a company lost 3.5 million dollars so explain the i need you to differentiate as far as what bwo was and the loss that was took and how that was separate Doc. because that wasn't a bwo loss yeah, so that wasn't a BWO loss. That was a Jake Taylor Jacobs ABS company loss because none of the partners actually had a merchant account. None mm. of them ran real business. Mm. None of them had employees. Mm. None of them had a staff. Mm -hmm. None of them had a lawyer. Mm. None of them had real corporation. Mm. None of them had business bank accounts. Mm. My business was the only one that actually ran real business. So, 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 Doc, what you're saying is, like, you came into the merger and... It's supposed to be a conglomerate merger. It was a merger. equals, yes. It, among, amongst equals, equals. But we look when we look at the facts of the merger, what was going on, you brought the most to the table when it came to business, when it came to staff, when bro, it came I'll, to system, when bro. it came to technology, when it came to know-how. Bro, let me... Everybody let me, let else me just is about this. influence. Let me just tell you this. There was only two parties that actually had real staff. It was me and DG. If anybody know DG, his name is Derek Grayson. He Shout and, out to he DG. And, he and I are great friends. I just talked to him today. Shout out DG. He's probably one of the most closest friends other than my lifetime friends that's been with me more than a decade. DG that's me, is dog. closest. That's me. And, laugh, and he and I were the only ones that actually had merchant accounts that can be able to do the revenue. Yeah. Now, let me give y'all understanding. What was the minimum revenue needed to be possible the for minimum, BWO? The, the minimum revenue that was needed to be able to uphold BWO was a company that was already doing $300,000 a month. Nobody else was able to produce a merchant account that, that can sustain that. The Correct. only the only person that was able to do a merger account that was able to produce three hundred thousand dollars a month in revenue from a merchant account was me and DG. Mm. Mm. None of the other partners had any existing businesses that could be able to sustain the type of revenue that was needed to get approved by a merchant account. This is facts. Mm hmm. So the reason why I be quiet, Iggy, is because it's best that I be quiet for the people. It's 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 best that I it's it's best that I stay silent. It's best. And so when we talk about really like building real businesses, when we talk about really doing something. I'm the only one that lost, Iggy. I lost my land. You did. I lost my dream car. You did. I put everything up for my staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are people that say that they gave money for staff, 
or, or they gave ten thousand dollars for the people. But I gave up everything. How, how, how when when you sold your land and your Rolls Royce, how much was just payroll a month? Not include. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, but no, wait, listen, wait I'll, no, I'll no, explain. No, I'll no, explain. No, I, just okay. wanna, I just want to make sure that I, I clarify the questions okay. for the people, right? Because you sold the land. How much was payroll? Not including the 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 cost of technology and and office space. Not including what it took for your family. Not including what it what it took to to uphold marketing. Just with the land you sold in payroll, how much was payroll at that time? Yeah, our payroll was two hundred and fifty seven thousand a month. So what you telling me, Doc? In case somebody don't understand, is you sold land and you sold your car, and the majority of that was going towards no, payroll. No, no, let's let's just look at let's just look at the just cosmetics. yes or no. Yes. Okay. Now go ahead. Let's just look at the cosmetics. Look at the jewelry that people had before BWO and look at the jewelry that people had after BWO. Look at the jewelry before Jake Taylor and look at the jewelry after Jake Taylor. Look at the jewelry that Jake Taylor had and look at the jewelry that Jake Taylor wore today. If you just were to look at cosmetically, there's only one person that really took an L. It's me. It's me. And I'm still the only one that's going to be real enough to tell you the truth about business. Niggas is taking L's today. The market is hard today. Entrepreneurship is not as easy as people say that it is. Trading is not that sweet. Selling businesses is not, not that, that sweet. sweet. Selling products is not, not that, that easy. Sweet. <laughs> and these programs that teach y'all all this bullshit, they're freaking fracking lying to you. It's not that sweet. It ain't that easy. And so when you begin to start looking at the things that matter the most, what you got to understand is that you got to look at stuff for what it is and start understanding and telling the truth. And the truth is, is that there's only going to be a certain amount of people that actually really teach you the real shit of business. Y'all, we taking L's out here in the market. From 2022 to 20 to, to today, I've been taking L's. Mm. The only thing that's been sustaining our companies are the businesses that we bought that had nothing to do with my personality. So when I tell y'all to buy companies that don't have nothing to do with your personality, it's because that's the only thing that sustains this business today. There yeah. are people that joined my organization that was broke than a buh before they met Jake Taylor Jacobs. Y'all know their lifestyle before me, and then y'all know the lifestyle after me. I'm the only one that took an L. So what should that tell you? And I don't speak foul on nobody. I don't speak ill on nobody. I let them say whatever they say about the situation after me, and I move on. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm the only one that kept the staff. I'm the only one that still kept paying the payroll. I'm the only one that still kept paying uh, the salaries and for their families and for their mamas and their daddies. I'm the only one that kept up all the responsibility. Everybody else was able to fly right and fly left. But I'm the only one. So I'm going to tell you the truth about business. It's not as sweet as you think that it is. And the people that's telling you to leave their job, ask yourself, if it wasn't for them selling me this course, how, how much money are they actually making? And then lastly, let me say you this. How many of them are still showing you two years ago results? They're not showing you yeah. results today. Yeah. Listen, Doc, um, there's some people here that, that want to make sure that you got your flowers, Doc. Javon Brooks, that's one of my guys, beast when it comes to pay advertising, he says on IG, I respect the transparency 100%. A lot of entrepreneurs would never be transparent like that. Definitely respect it 100%. I appreciate that. Yeah, I lost, bro, I lost my dream car. The car that I always dreamed having in my entire life was a Rolls Royce. Yeah, I didn't even know which Rolls Royce to get. When I went tell to that the Rolls, story. Tell that story. When, yeah, I went yeah, to, yeah. when I went to the Rolls Royce dealership, the lady literally came to me and she was like, I said, I want to buy a Rolls Royce. And she was like, baby, hon, you know that there are like four different types of Rolls Royce. And I looked in a dealership and I was like, well, I want, mm, I want that one. And I'll pay cash. Mm -hmm. I paid say? cash for my land. I paid off my parents' home. 
Matter of fact, let's go. Let's back it up a little bit. Okay. The people that were a part of BWO, none of them retired their family until after me. Okay. I'm the only one that retired my family obsolete of the BWO movement. They made videos about it. It's receipts out there. Yeah, they they it's all, not all attached of them, to us. All, all of, of them made all videos. Of them, all of them made videos about when they retired yeah. their family. And it was after Dr. J. Taylor Check Jacobs. The it was not before. Check the dates. I'm the only one that retired my family and I didn't have to make a video about it because we already did it. Mm. I'm the only one that paid off my family's house and land before I got anything of my own. Talk about it. Most of their family still living in shit that they still paying mortgages for. This Some is a fact. Mm. This is a fact. I'm gonna shut up. And so when we talk about when we talk about things that need to be talked about, we gotta talk about the things that are real. My all the stuff that was my dream, my dream house, my dream car, my dream jewelry, my dream lifestyle. I gave all that up, not to take care of myself, but to pay my staff. So, so doc, that 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 led me to this question. So, it's. It's, it's a lot of people that may not understand, like, when you get involved in, you know, the money making or have the opportunity to buy your dream stuff. When when it came to you, aside from being your dream stuff and stuff you wanted, what was the reason that you made purchases for high value, high quality stuff at that time, aside from just being. So I can wanted? sell it. Bro, yeah, talk, mater- talk about that. Bro, material shit don't matter to me. Like, y'all got to understand, like, I, I grew up poor for real. Like, <laughs> like, like, a lot of people talk about how hard they are, but I don't see people that's really hard really talk about how hard they are. The people that's really like that don't like to talk about it because we don't want to go there to keep, it a, to keep it a bean. The people that's really like that, we want to get as far away from that type of lifestyle so we barely ever talk about it, Iggy, to keep it a buck. And so the truth is, the reason why I bought the high-quality stuff is so that if shit ever got tight, I could sell it. And if anybody's been a part of being raised in a certain type of lifestyle, y'all understand what I'm talking about. Y'all understand? And if your favorite guru or your favorite mentor only talks to you and only celebrates what they do when they up, they lying to you. If you look at everything that we was doing through that merger, everything that every one of them had after the merger and we make the bill, they still got the same jewelry. Look at it. They still driving the same cars. Look at it. They still got the same lifestyle. Look at it. Who's the only one that's not driving the roads in the Jeep, in the Bent? That's me. Who's the one that y'all ain't seen with Rolexes? That's me. Who's the one that you ain't seen with the big jewelry? That's me. But who's the one that, that held all of them up? It's me. These are facts. These are truths. And the only reason that I'm talking about it, Iggy, is simply because that's the real art of business. I've been I've, I've been in business for a long time, Iggy. And the biggest thing that I understand is that I didn't really realize when I came on the Internet that there were so many people that were perpetrators online, Iggy. I literally had no idea, bro. I know. I got online. You you've been telling me to get online since what? Fifteen. Fifteen, dog. So you've been telling me to get on. You've been telling me to get online since two thousand fifteen, right? Right. You've been telling me to get online since 20, 2015, right? Right. I didn't get online until February twenty twenty. When I got on the internet, I blew up. The reason why I got on the internet, I blew up, is because I've been making a million dollars a year since I was twenty six years old. How old are you now? I'm 31. Oh, okay. I'm not a pandemic baby. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'll make a million during the pandemic, Out after the, the pandemic, pandemic, on the internet, and not on the internet. <laughs> but most, but yeah. most of the people that we see that make money online, guess what they got to do, Iggy? 
they gotta they gotta leech their brand and their personality on somebody else that's doing something great. They lack integrity. Look at the people that's a part of BWO, and look at how many people those people last on. We ain't talking about the new BWO. I'm talking about the real BWO. The real BWO, because I don't know what that other shit is. And if they got any issues, just say, hey, listen, have your lawyer talk to my lawyer, and we're going to see who really went in the end. These are just facts. If we want to talk about it, Jabril fought Muhammad Jones, a.k.a. 19 Keys, was mad at me. He mad at me for $50,000. 50K. And the reason why he mad at me for fifty thousand dollars, you owe him that fifty k, was because I wasn't gonna pay it to him because a hundred percent of his commission came from the auto trader that he said he never sold. Yeah, I thought he had nothing to do with that auto trader. That's just a fact, bro. Okay. <laughs> In the name of transparency, and I got the stats, I got the receipts, I got the screenshots to prove it. He was the number one seller of the auto trader that he said he had nothing to do with, and the reason why he and I Lying fell out was people. because I wasn't willing to pay him that. When I was in a lawsuit with the merchant accounts because of the product that Chris Cole created. Y'all were lied to. So Chris Cole lied to me like he lied to the customer saying that he spent three years building this auto trader that we found out that he got from. Um, it was uh, a script that he bought. It was a script that he bought. He wasn't for, even. No, no, no. For, like for, for $30. Like I can't allow you to call it an auto trader because that's not what it was. It was a script that could be built into one, but it was not an auto trader. This is based off what we saw where it was got from and what we saw based off people in the community who had tech experience, code experience, who said that that's not bro, what it was. Bro, we had we had we had forensic, bro, we had forensic uh we had forensic uh uh engineers mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. literally told us that it was a script. I had no idea. I just wanna We that, No, no, let's go ahead and let's go ahead yeah, and be I'm, I'm because we're talking about bad mergers. Right. So the, the merger of BDWO, it was lopsided from the beginning. None of them had legitimate businesses. Me and my company were the only ones that had staff in multiple companies with legitimate businesses. None of them had legitimate businesses. But I went off the strength of somebody who I thought was my friend that told me that these fellas was good, only to find out that one was a fraud from the beginning and one was a pump up of whatever he wanted to pump up from cryptocurrency all the way up to, you know, pumping up the guy. Listen, imagine, imagine building something. Hold on, wait, you're not even on the IG no more. No, my phone died. Okay. Imagine. They can't, so they can't hear you or see you. All right. Imagine being somebody who out here building for the culture, right? And you have come across something that's new, innovative, that the culture doesn't understand. And you're looking to give them this information so that they can better themselves. And so you're looking at the dynamic of the marketplace. I'm talking about me in case y'all didn't know. You're looking at the dynamic <laughs> of the marketplace. You're trying to understand said, talk about exactly me on <laughs> how to maneuver through the marketplace. There's an individual who has been able to garner Influence, meaning there's a lot of people who he has their ears. Imagine that person coming on board. You throwing a free event that is based and built off educate. No, now, no, no, it, they wait, don't wait, 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 they don't wait. I'm, I'm about context. to, I'm about to, Doc. I promise you, I'm about to. So that free event was free to the people, but just the venue for that event, just the venue was sixteen thousand dollars a night. Just the venue. Yeah. $16,000 a night to be able to put on a free event. So you invite this person who has influence to this free event. Off the strength of me, though. Off the strength of Dr. Jake. Let's, let's keep that one a buck. Off the strength of Dr. Jake. That's the only reason they were interested. That's the only reason we were interested. Based off the plug. And this is a free event that me and my team. Me and my team cover the cost for almost twenty thousand dollars in costs. When you talk yeah. about renting yeah. the the venue, when you talk about liquor, yeah. when you talk about uh, entertainment, yeah. almost twenty thousand dollars that my team put up yeah. for a free event. You invited this individual, and he invited people and charged them for. All right, so yeah. Wait, wait. Let me finish, Doc. Okay. 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 So. 
Nice. And you 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 bring this person on board because you are interested in making sure the people got this in- information. Yeah. And this person manipulates. Manipulates. This person is, is not up front and real with and charges the people that he invites yeah. money to pay him that went to his pockets. But had nothing to do with the event. Yeah. Not only that, this person comes to the event and manipulates an opportunity to get another forty thousand dollars in crypto from the event. Oh no! Talk this about that. This happened in Miami, Florida. Talk about that. What's the date? This happened in Miami, date, Florida, in yeah. March twenty twenty one. Yeah. I got the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> of live videos that i uploaded to youtube i got the receipts yeah nothing that i'm talking about is it's, cap it's cap this real. person he talking about jabril five this Muhammad. person was so enveloped AKA with a keys this they, they were so enveloped with with the the identity of a fraud that they went on the breakfast club yeah they did and they were talking about what is they learned they had no choice but to mention the biggest crypto play ever because they knew that they couldn't stand on nothing of their own. And the biggest crypto play ever was myself, yeah. J Crypto, and Slice IX, who built a community of over three, over thirty five hundred people to teach them education of crypto to build into the space. So I say all of that to say that a lot of the people that y'all follow that have marketed. Be, they've been they've been excellent marketers. I'm a marketer. I can give props what props do. The marketing, exquisite. The marketing, absolutely has gotten people to make a decision. And in, in, in marketing, that's what you're looking to do. However, you can build a marketing campaign, develop marketing strategies that are not beneficial for the people that you're marketing to. And a lot of y'all were and are currently still being manipulated by what they deem themselves as thought leaders. If somebody has to lead your thoughts, if somebody, li- think, think, think about it. You are an individual who can develop and move off your own thoughts. So somebody telling you they are a thought leader, they are creating thoughts for you to believe. These same people who are thought leaders, 19 keys, 19 keys. Bro, before I knew who you were, I appreciated you, bro. Who, me? After, I, after I figured out who you were, I don't want nothing to do with you, bro. You oh. speak for the people and you take advantage of the people. Here, this show today especially is about transparency and lets you understand where we are. And even in the midst of where we are, we still dedicated to make sure that y'all can grow and benefit and move forward. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me see the phone. So here's the deal. The deal is this. Bro, that was crazy. We had like a surplus. Bro. I don't know what was going on with our IG. But the IG was crazy. You seen that? They, were, hey, they were trying to tell hey. us it was like almost 2,000 people live. Oh, you seen it? Hey. Oh, yeah. I didn't see it. No, I was hey, like, hey, I showed hey, it. Hey, did y'all, did like, y'all bro, see? You see that? Bro, did y'all yeah, see? Yeah, I was like, bro, you see that? Did y'all see how many people? It was people, at 1,900 at that point. Bro, with, did y'all see how many people was live? <laughs> IG, people IG, like mess, bro. <laughs> bro, IG was bugging, bro. <laughs> Even if they, even if it's not mess, they think it's mess. They love it, bro. bro. I don't know where the, I don't know where that came from. It's all good, God. But it was crazy. Thank you. I'll take it for a little bit. Take it a little season. Even if it was gas, I don't know where it came from. But the seasoning, I especially sent that. Hey, Shantae said I sent that. Uh, but she said I, she sent it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but but here's the here's the deal that I'm thinking about. Yeah, people do love mess for sure. But but here's the deal. The point of us bringing all of that up is to say one thing. Business is not sweet. And you should not be learning business from people who teach you that business is sweet. 
Business isn't sweet. It ain't. Never will be. Business wasn't sweet. It's never sweet. It's never sweet. It'll never be sweet. And so what you got to understand is if you understand that process and you understand what we're talking about, your life will be changed. So listen, this is what I want you to do. Go to buybillsellrepeat.com. Is it backslash class? Is yes. it backslash four, class? Forward slash class. Go to, uh, is it forward slash it's or backslash? Forward slash. Forward How do you know it's forward slash? Because it, it leaned this way, not this way. Why you got it doing that? That's the, the, the way the URL works. Why you don't got why you don't have a backslash? Everybody use backslash. No, bro. everybody call it backslash, but it's really a forward slash because it leaned to the right. Bro, he a backslash irritated. leaned to the left. So, um, um Yeah. All right, so let me just say It's a this. slash before uh, the go class. Go to buybillsellrepeat.com slash class. <laughs> when you go to buybillsellrepeat.com backslash or slash class, forward slash backslash, I don't goddamn know. Just as long as you put a slash. Just there. put a slash class. Um buybillsellrepeat.com slash class. Um, you will be able to get access to our five-day business series on how to buy a company that already exists for a dollar. Listen. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A dollar. BuyBillSellRepeat.com slash class. A five-day business series, three hours a day for a dollar. You'll be able to get access to it. So go on and get access to that. Now, let me tell you something. Somebody asked Iggy about what happened with me and Brother Ben. What happened with me and Brother Ben is between me and Brother Ben. Oh, gotcha. Um, he and I, I'll keep it short. He and I had different opinions on where we wanted to go with our business career. That shit is simple. Um, still love the young buck. I still young. I still love the young cat. Like, like that's still been to me. That's still Ben. Like, I'm still the godfather of his children. It's only on the internet where there's an issue between two people because they have different opinions on where they want the end result to be or where they want it to go. And at the end of the day, me and Ben, that's still my young brother. And if he, even if he and I, and even if he and I got, bro, they said they think they got the wrong thing. Is it backslash and forward slash, bro? Just put it in the chat. I did. Y'all, Iggy be doing the, bro, bro Iggy be bugging, bro. This, I'm not bugging, bro. This is consistent of any URL. All the slashes are forward. There's never a backslash in the URL, ever. Bro, it is, a, it is a slash this way. Never. It's never a slash this way. Show me. What are you talking about? Let me show you, Doc. Let me show you, Doc. Let me show you. HTTPS. You see that? No, 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 wait, no, no. wait, 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 wait. I just want to. I want to take you to the steps. You go biz. Well, go biz. Okay, Doc. You, yeah, you see this? You see that? You see them two slashes? What's I don't is? care what HTTP. I'm, I'm asking. Bro, type in, bro. Type it in. So I was trying to prove to you. That the slashes go the same way, Doc. You see oh, that? Oh, yeah, it is for a slash. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Iggy. So, somebody. All right, so it's, it's buybillsellrepeat.com. Shante, Shante, why board. you do that? Go to four. You irritating. Look, what's on the board right now? That's buybillsellrepeat.com. Four, four slash, slash class. class. Yeah, this yeah, is right. exactly what you should get to it because that's the site. Hey, listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Um, Listen. Go buy, bill, sell, repeat, four slash class. You're going to get access to our five-day business series for $1. Not 1000 It's in the chat 10, on YouTube. 000, not 100 It's in the chat on YouTube. For $1, you're going to get access to how we buy and sell companies for $1 for zero to no money. It's in the chat on YouTube. $1. Now, let me express this about me and Ben. Listen, what me and Ben got going on, is what me and Ben got going on. Y'all don't hear me and Ben talking about what we got going on in public. That means that it's some family shit. Family. So what y'all got to understand is this. Let family deal with family shit. 
If it was that bad, I'm telling you, he an internet guy. It would have been on the internet. <laughs> Being from the internet, it would have been on the internet. <laughs> Buybillsellrepeat.com forward slash class. In the meantime, go to buybillsellrepeat forward slash class. Get access to our dollar five day business series, three hours a day. We're teaching you business. But let me tell you this what me and Ben got going on is between me and my brother. So y'all need to let family business be family business. In the meantime, support everything that he put out. Everything. And support everything that I put out. Everything. And that's that. So, but Jabril Far Muhammad Jones is a scammer. Let me see that. Chris see Cole that. is a scammer. Let me see that, Doc. And tell him to come find me. Let me see that. My, my, I'm the only one that got an address on the internet. Let me see that. <laughs> the phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, I'll check this out. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend some time with y'all. I'm gonna spend some time with y'all to to make sure y'all understand, Doc. Open this. To make sure y'all understand. I'm gonna open. To make sure I understand exactly what you need to do if you're interested in, in, in being able to move forward. Buy, build, sell, repeat dot com forward slash class. Forward slash class. Right. This is the opportunity for you to be able to spend five days with us live. Not no pre-recorded shit. Not no thought leader. Go watch this video shit. Being able to come and experience us live. Be able to ask questions live. It's a dollar for five days. The market fucked up right now. Excuse my language is being real. If y'all been watching it up at this point, y'all understand. Uh, y'all understand the vibe of this this show. The market is effed up right now. That's what it is. That's the reality of the world we are in. Right now, not just for us, but for every business on our level, Fortune 500 billion dollar level, laying people off, shutting their doors completely. From us, as far as having to figure out cut costs all the way up to Amazon, one of the largest companies in the world. If you are somebody who's interested in being able to move forward. If you are somebody who's interested in being able to figure out how to fight through this and are interested in learning from some people who are, are transparent telling you where they at, buy, build, sell, repeat.com. If you're on YouTube right now, if you're on Instagram, search Dr. Jake Taylor Jacobs on YouTube. If you go to Dr. Jake's Instagram, um, link in his bio, you'll see the YouTube, you can go there, and if you're on YouTube, it's in the description, it's in the, in the live chat, but it's also in, his, in the description, the next five days live, go to the description of the video on YouTube, go ahead and register, it's a dollar, you get, for, the, for that dollar, you get access to the class for free, and you also get access to the first three chapters of Buy, Build, Sell, Repeat, Birth in, both an ebook. And audio form, as well as you get access to the class. Now, when you get access to the class, you're more than likely going to want to purchase access to the complete book so that you can make sure that you have a resource to be able to tap back in with. But our goal is to make sure that you come to the class so that you can get an understanding for what it is that we are teaching and understand how to navigate in this current market space. Go check your favorite gurus, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok right now and see if they're telling you the real. Do your own research. And if they're telling you the real and the real make more sense than what it is we're talking about, please <laughs> go with the real. But I will, be, I will be willing to bet you that none of them talking about this, none of them saying this, none of them speaking this game. Buy, build, sell, repeat dot com forward slash class. Join us in our next five day live training. Get the game. Five days, three hours a day. That's 15 hours that you get access to for a dollar. 
Because, I, again, our goal is market penetration. Our goal is to penetrate the market and educate and touch and allow as many people to experience the, what it is that we have, what it is we offer, what it is that we teach over the next 16 months. That's our goal. We're playing a long game. we lifers in this business shit. We're not here for the courses. We're not here for the hype. The only reason that we're able to tell you and be transparent about what we got going on right now and where things are for his business is because we in this shit for life. We know this is not going to be the end of it. We know that we're going to grow past this shit. But there's some people that this is all they're depending on, and they have no clue what the F they're going to do right now or moving forward. We ten toes down. We solid. We can speak our truth and know that we can we can tell y'all where we at right now. And y'all still gonna go to Bob Bill, say repeat.com forward slash class, register for the training for a dollar and get this game. Cause ain't nobody else giving it to you like this. Yo, Shane, I'm I'm gonna end it with this. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for spending the time with us today. I hope that y'all were able to get some game. I hope that we were able to to give y'all some information to help y'all navigate through these times and help you understand that it's not a lot of people that's going to give you the, the real like we are. I hope y'all appreciate it. I hope y'all love it. Buy bill, say repeat.com forward slash class. That's how you get access to our next five day live training where we break down buy bill, say repeat. So that you know how you can buy businesses for little to no money now. That's the real. That's the transparency. That's where we are. That being said, I love you, and ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. I see you on the inside of our training or on our next live. It's Iggy, and this is Bob Bill Sale Repeat Show. I see you on the next one. Peace. They got it, but let's buy some land to build the family. That's a grown up flex. And see a black man winning and get so upset. This is generational, inspirational, integrative, though. On the rise vertically, working like I ain't made it, though. This is for my people. Locker room speeches. Listen while I'm teaching. Nails trying like a kiss. Stole it like I'm Jesus and brought it back like a re up. Had to demonstrate the blessing for people who couldn't see it. Now we building assets before we splurge our cash. We was talking about the dream.